and let me see what am I at here and yeah right here huh? this is one of the most important things I've seen a lot of I built several of these things lots of trial and error you need to put the metal side the metal side of your thermostat out into the box you want to use some red RTV or industrial velcro or something and glue your thermostat to the box you see your screw here your adjustment right there it turns around and it mounts to the box this way once you get your wires fastened mount it to the box and make sure you're going to drill about a one uh, three-eighths inch hole it's hard to see see if you can come right here and see this right here honey it's tough to see it right there where my finger is at right there where the adjustment is let me see if I'll this is your 3 8 size hole right here that goes into your adjusting screw so that you can take this is my little one of my little screwdrivers that I use to adjust the thermostats you can stick the screwdriver in to the screw right here and you can adjust this thermostat while the lid's closed you don't have to open up your incubator to uh, to do your adjusting which is which works good because you can leave the lid shut you don't want to change the humidity or anything else if you have to fine tune your uh, your incubator these little thermostats work really good they'll vary I usually have mine to where they will uh, they cycle on at about 98 9 98 8 to 99 degrees and they will cycle off usually at about 100 and have a run up sometimes to about 101 sometimes 101 and a half 102 is acceptable 103 is even acceptable because it won't stay there very long and before it starts coming back down you may have a three or so degree variance to above ideal is 99 degrees uh, and if it if it's running between 98 and 102 then the average is averaging right at 100 degrees and that's acceptable I've hatched I've probably hatched over a thousand eggs out of this incubator here since last year um, I hope that simplifies the wiring a little bit I don't think there's anything else that I need to cover you can ask me some questions if I if I missed anything in particular and I'll try to help if I can I try to post some pictures here on the uh, on the video at the end of the video I'll try to, to, to put in some pictures to give you a little more illustration about how I've got things set up in some of these incubators and uh, and hopefully that'll help. See you folks. Thanks for all your inquiries. Talk to you soon.